Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Busty's YouTube channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you guys six very important life hacks that every girl should know when using breast tape. I have been using Busties for a long time now, so along the way I have picked up some tips and some tricks, figured out what works for me, what doesn't, so I thought that I would share with you guys so you can have a great experience while taping. Very briefly, before we get into the tips and tricks, if you are unfamiliar with Busties, I wanted to give you a quick background on them. Busties is a breast tape lifting company. Breast tape has become increasingly popular over the past few years. Um, this is what a roll looks like. The reason it has become super popular and people are ditching bras is because breast tape is super diverse. You can use it for lots of different styles of tops. Whereas if you used a bra, you may see bra straps, you may have back pain. So breast tape is a great alternative for that. I'm going to try to keep these tips as concise as possible to get right to the point. So tip number one, try to avoid using any type of body lotion or sunscreen about an hour to two hours prior to taping. I do want to preface by saying it is totally fine to moisturize your legs or any other part of your body that is not going to be getting taped. So really just your chest area, your arms and your shoulders. Therefore, I would definitely avoid moisturizing your chest, your shoulders, that type of area before applying your breast tape even hours in advance to get the maximum strength hold that the tape can offer. If you do happen to have moisturizer on that area, the tape may stick, but it may not last all day or as long as you need it to because that initial stickiness has been deteriorated by the lotion. Tip number two, you always want to protect with nipple covers. From personal experience, when I first started using breast tape, I would always skip over the nipple cover part. No, it doesn't matter. I'm too lazy. I'll just use the breast tape right away. No. There is a reason that Busties provides you with nipple covers, so I highly, highly recommend using them before taping. The nipples are a very sensitive part of our body. It is not safe to directly rip the boob tape off. You need to be protecting with covers, otherwise you can cause unwanted damage. Busties does come with silicone nipple covers as well as satin flower-shaped nipple covers. Definitely use these, you have them, so it is important to utilize it in your boob taping process. Tip number three, use the grid on the back of the tape to your advantage. Let's say I am taping for a bandeau style top. I will initially take my tape and kind of measure out and figure how much I'm going to need. And then I will cut on a line. More times than not, you're going to need more than one piece of tape to achieve your desired look. So once I cut that first piece, I'm going to see how many boxes I used. So one, two, three, four, five, let's say. And then for the um, next pieces, I'm going to cut again. I already know that I need five boxes. So I'm just gonna uh, cut this and then measure out five more boxes, cut that. This will prevent you from wasting your tape. Tip number four, peel as you go. Here's what you will not want to do. Do not peel the tape all the way off and then proceed to stick on. It makes it much more difficult to do and you will not get the correct hold. Instead, peel a small amount, maybe an inch or two, press that on, and now you are going to wanna to peel as you go and kind of push your fingers against the tape while you're going. This will make sure the tape goes on extremely smooth and there will be no bumps and ridges. Tip number five, cut less tape than you think that you are going to need. Let's say again, I am taping for a bandeau style. You may think, okay, well, I need this much tape. No, you don't. Boob tape is designed to be extremely stretchy so it can give you that lift. You need that tension and that shorter amount of tape so you can stretch it. So let's say I am taping for a bandeau style top. I would probably cut give or take maybe this much tape so it doesn't even go all the way across because I will start it here, but the tension will stretch it across. Let me show you. Okay, so I would start about over here and I'm gonna stretch. Do you see all that tension? It is designed to do that to give you a lift. And it ends up reaching all the way around when in reality we only cut about this much tape. Tip number six, my last and final tip that I will be sharing with you guys today 
is always remove your breast tape with some type of oil. I remove mine with tanning oil. You could use baby oil, olive oil, any type of oil. You will most likely get a rash if you just rip your tape off. Again, that is not safe for your skin. Blue tape is meant to be removed with some type of oil for an easy removal process. Once you apply the oil on the ends of the tape, you're going to want to let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once you let that sit, just pick out the edge and your tape should easily come off. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I really do hope that you learned something from this video um, and can apply it to the next time that you are using your breast tape. At first, using breast tape may be a little bit overwhelming, but as long as you apply these tips and tricks that I have provided for you guys, it will make the process much easier and you will get a hang of it in no time. If you would like to purchase your own Busties kit, the link will be in the description box below. Don't forget to follow Busties on all social media. Again, that will be linked in the description box. Have a great rest of your day and happy taping.